ASU began in 1957 as a, a student station. Uh, it was just a, a place where students could learn the uh, art of doing radio uh, and uh, was a student station for many, many years. Uh, and I was a member of the student staff here in the 1980s and uh, we learned how to do radio. We don't have students directly on the air as much anymore as we used to. We do have students who help out in production work behind the scenes and uh, who voice some uh, underwriting announcements, community calendar announcements and things like that. It's a wonderful environment in which to work. Myself and many of the staff at KASU have been here for over two decades, and we're so blessed to work with students who are working towards degrees in the Department of Media. They provide invaluable assistance to us as we do our day-to-day -day work here at KASU. So I started uh, about seven years ago, and when I started, um, I was working down in Stuttgart, Arkansas in commercial radio and heard about this position that was open that was the morning edition position at Arkansas State and, and really wanted to come back to, to KASU. I'd been a student at Arkansas State in the mid-90s and I worked at KASU and so I've always had this love for KASU. KSU is very proud to be involved in some downtown revitalization efforts. We were actually involved in the uh, downtown revitalization effort right here in Jonesboro in the 1990s. We were, I believe, the first radio station to have a live music event in downtown Jonesboro. We began the concert series called Blue Monday. Since we began those concerts, the downtown revitalization efforts have, have really taken root and downtown Jonesboro is a thriving area now. Downtown Paragool is doing very well also. Uh, and we like to think that we had a, a part in that. And so we've had several concert series, both here in Jonesboro and in Paragould, also in Newport. Um, and uh, we've uh, had a Christmas concert last year in Pocahontas, which went very well. We're very proud of the live music we've, we've been able to bring to Jonesboro and surrounding areas uh, over the past several years. KASU kind of has three prongs to what we do. We're online, on air, and in concert. Now, the on-air is the obvious thing. That's when you tune in to 91.9 FM and simply listen to the radio station. But we also have a very vibrant presence on the Internet. Of course, there's the website, kasu.org, where you can get news and many of our uh, news stories on demand when you can listen to them whenever you want to. Then there's the social media that we do, primarily Facebook and Twitter. But then also KASU does a wide variety of community events, primarily involving live music. Offering those kinds of live music events, specific news conferences, maybe it's rallies, maybe there are, there are, there are protests, and, and just giving voices to people that uh, don't feel like that they have a voice and trying to do that for all of our community. A-State Connections started in August and basically gives an opportunity to be able to talk to the people of Arkansas State about either the research projects they have going on or general news events that, that are taking place here or the specific stories of what the faculty, what staff, and what students are doing here that are making the communities better. So Arkansas State, it's not just the Jonesboro campus, but it's across the ASU system, which encompasses the many other uh, campuses that are through Arkansas State, like ASU Mid-South in West Memphis, and ASU Newport in Newport, Mark Tree in Jonesboro. Many years ago, every student coming through the Department of Media was required to work at KASU, whether they were interested in a career in radio or not. That requirement doesn't exist anymore, so it gives us an opportunity to really target specific students who are wanting to do uh, radio, which is kind of becoming, uh, in some cases, a lost art, but the younger generations are now rediscovering that there's more to radio than just simply announcing music. There's all kinds of radio features and documentaries and podcasts, and we're working with students to provide them the opportunities to learn how to do that and to do it well, and then provide some valuable content for KASU and for our listeners to enjoy. Mm -hmm. 